Hey guys, uh, today I'm installing these uh, Max Air vents over the bathroom and half bath. I got the bathroom one installed already and they're pretty easy to do and uh, I'll kind of show you how I did them when I do the half bath up here. So to start, go ahead and open your vent up about two thirds of the way, three quarters of the way, so you can get to these flanges here. You gotta, you got to drill a couple holes in these flanges. You don't need many tools. Um, maybe a cordless drill with a three sixteenths drill bit. I've got a seven sixteenths socket to, to snug these uh, nuts down pair of pliers and just screwdriver. That's really all you need and something to mark with. So you just center the vent cover up over the vent. And then I just go ahead and uh, put a little mark in the center of each of these slots. You're only going to use uh, one slot on each end, but I go ahead and mark both of them. Then all you do is take your bracket and uh, center it up side to side on that uh, long slot and then mark on the flange. And you, I don't know if you can see it, but I mark mine a little bit high. And the reason I do that is because they give you these big old washers and if you're too low, um, you have trouble fitting them inside of that flange. Once you got your holes drilled, you can go ahead and put your brackets on. And I go ahead and uh, put this screw in and then uh, put them against the flange there. Save you a little bit of trouble. I just kind of snug them up a little bit and then uh, you know I don't tighten them all the way so you can check and make sure that the uh, that the cover fits and you don't have to re-drill your holes or anything so after I uh, loosely install the brackets on I just drop the, drop the cover back on make sure it lines up then you can pull it off and uh, tighten your screws down. So now you just put the cover back on. And um, I just finger tighten these down onto the star washer. And then just uh, snug it the rest of the way with a 7 16 uh, you know, socket or ratchet. Or you can use a wrench or nut driver or whatever. But... Uh, snug it ain't going nowhere and uh having these on there will you know you can uh open keep your vents open in the summer and keep the heat build up from getting too bad inside and uh and uh we pretty much keep ours closed in the winter because it's been so cold here but uh once it warms up you can leave them open and and plus, when you're taking a shower and it's uh, raining outside, you know, you can you can have your fan on, stuff like that. So, anyway, pretty easy job. And uh, that's it. I guess the last thing I'll tell you is just go in and make sure you can open and close the vents without them dragging. And make sure, you know, they'll open as far as you need them to and close all the way before you put all your tools and stuff away just to double check but uh i guess that's about it